So do-it-yourself license plate frame. Why? I mean, don't they already make one? Yes, and, and in fact, it, it's the law that you've got to have one. Uh, but interestingly enough, places like uh, Torque, I think it's Torque Lift or uh, Torque Lift Central, uh, that actually sells the law, uh, has, I think it's close to a four week or three week backlog. It takes them about five to six days for them to ship it and then five to six days for it to get to you. So assuming everything goes right, you're gonna be waiting for your lawful front plate for about two weeks. So this is a do-it-yourself front plate mount. So uh, if you come up here, Sabrina, you'll notice that what I did is I mounted it right there in the same place. And in fact, the rest of this video is dedicated to how do you make this front plate mount if you've got to wait for your law, but you actually want to be lawful while you wait. So as I mentioned, um, you know, there are a couple of different options out there. If you're looking around, you don't want to drill in your brand new car, uh, why they would build a car, you know, Elon, hello, uh, that requires you to drill into your bumper to mount a license plate is beyond me. But um, if you do some research, you go through the forums and such forth, you'll find out that really there's probably one leading answer, and that is the law. This is Torque Lift Central. Um, as I mentioned, you'll see off to the right here, it says, you know, extremely high volume orders allow 10 business days to, for it to ship out. And then if you go through the uh, installation and when it's going to come to you, that's going to, if you're on the East Coast, they're on the West Coast, that's going to be at least another five days. So like I said, you could spend two, three, four weeks waiting for it. And if you switch over to leading kind of aftermarket Tesla dealers, this is another place that you can buy it. But if you notice, I think it's down in here, um, it says between one and three weeks from when you place the order. So obviously, if you're going to have a uh, manufactured, pre-built uh, license plate, front license plate holder, for your Tesla, the only way to do it is essentially about three weeks before your pickup of your car is to order one of the two. There's been a couple of people that mentioned, hey, can't you just do the license plate holder that mounts into the tow hook? Um, the tow hook is actually very long and odd. Uh, I actually talked to Craven Speed about it, and they said that the tow hook on the Tesla X is the longest they have ever seen. To give you an idea what that option looks like, Let's look at the tow hook itself. It's 12 inches long, and you're going to like, well, obviously that just sticks out. No, that's the hole that it goes into. You kind of pry it up from the top, and it pops out kind of down, pivoting on the bottom uh, tabs, and you take off the cover. Once it's completely screwed in, you have about three inches, two and a half inches sticking out. So if you looked at the original uh, length, I think it was 12 and a half inches. So we're talking 10 inches back in there is where that mount is. Most of those tow hooks are only about uh, an inch to four, or yeah, inch to four inches long uh, for BMW, Porsche, and all the others. So if you forgot to order it and you have to build one or you just don't want to pay 150 there's a really inexpensive but it takes a little bit of work it takes about six hours i would say to do this uh, it took me probably a little bit longer uh, and that is not all work time i did a few errands in the meantime letting paint dry and such forth probably working time is about two hours but uh, you go to uh, this was pep boys and i bought the front license plate bracket and you can see that was like four bucks and then I bought some uh, license plate mounting and that was 10 bucks so we're up to like 15 bucks and then I went to Lowe's and this one on the left you can see it's a heavy duty security wall shield or something that's five bucks so we're up to twenty dollars and then I spent another five dollars on a piece of aluminum and then I took that piece of aluminum I'll show you the dimensions a little bit later 
you can see that that's about eight and a quarter. Then I cut them all off and I'll show you more about what I cut. This is the fence post thing that I got from Lowe's, same thing that I got from Lowe's. And I actually took two uh, threaded and I epoxied uh, real high strength epoxy around them. So it made it a place that I could screw through. So let me go ahead and play this video and it explains everything that's on this. Okay, so here we are on your do-it-yourself bracket. You can see here's a bracket. Um, there's two holes and three holes. This was, I think, eight and a half, and then I had to cut off a little bit. I'll measure this a little bit later on. That's probably about, you know, three quarters of an inch, and I bent it over. Um, this is a bracket that goes through. So essentially, this I epoxied on the back side so that I didn't have to get into there. And then this one is the other part of the gate where I cut off the corners and I drilled holes for the license plate. So I'll show you how it all goes together, but this is the interim step of painting. I still got to put uh, some screw holes into that one uh, with the screw threader. But this is uh, all the pieces cut. I'll give you measurements in, in uh, the next slide.